Yo, Daz Plates here, and um, this is just going to be a quick video. I've got less than an hour to make it, and it's going to be about UFC 199. Um, I haven't actually watched any MMA for ages because of blah 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 blah. I'm not going to go into that now because I've got to get this fucking video done as quick as I can. So, yeah, um, here's the fight card on the screen now um, and yeah I think I've picked a good a good UFC to watch live for my first time watching MMA in a good while so UFC fight pass down there those fights don't give a shit about those fights, I don't know who, who any of the fighters are. So, those fights are going on now, and I can't watch that because I don't have UFC Fight Pass, and I don't give a shit about any of the fight fighters. So, don't need to bother with that. And then we've got the official prelims and there's two fights there that I do care about we've got Brian Ortega who I've never heard of to be honest and we've got Clay the Carpenter Guida and that guy I've watched him fight a lot of times and he's a fucking good fighter and his fights are always entertaining win or lose he puts on a good fight he has long hair as you can see on the picture but the weird thing is out of all the all the fighters that have long hair men or women a lot of them have it in some sort of style not just loose it's some sort of style, so it keeps out of the face and everything when they're fighting, but Clay Guido, he doesn't. He just has his long, flowing locks. Fucking out properly. Fucking getting in his face and everything. And uh, But he still fucking fights really well. And the amount of times I've seen him get his fucking face bashed in, and he's got a fucking cut of some blood. Here, there and everywhere all over his face <laughs> and he's got his fucking hair stuck stuck to his face with blood and everything but he just keeps going he's a fucking good fighter man so yeah um, in that fight I want him to win I want Clay Guida to win and then the second one on the prelims that I care about is Jessica Penne against Jessica Andrade not sure if that's how you pronounce her name if it's not I apologise but yeah I've never heard of her before because I haven't been following the UFC for a while but Jessica Penne I've seen her fight a few times and she's pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and say that for this fight, I want Jessica Penny to win. Don't know whether she will win or whether she won't win, but that's who I would like to win. And then we've got Dan Henderson v Hector Lombard. I've heard of both of them. I'm very familiar with Dan Henderson. He's been around for fucking years. And He's fucking probably fought in. Well, he has fought in a lot of fucking good fights. He must be about. He must be close to 50 now. To be honest, he must be. But he's a fucking good fighter. He really is. Um, I would like Dan Anderson to win this fight. But the other guy. Yeah, I'm. A little bit of familiar with him I know where he is I've seen some of his fights 
I'm pretty sure he's quite a bit younger than Mr. Dan Henderson. So, I'm going to say Hector Lombard is going to win this fight. Um, I would prefer Dan Henderson to win because I like him better. Um, but, yeah, I think Lombard's going to win that one. Dominic Cruz in your eye favour. I am very familiar with both those guys. I've seen a lot of both their fights. I've seen them fight each other before. Um, and to be fair, I'm out of the two. I'm more a fan of Uriah Faber. And I want Uriah Faber to win this fight. But as a prediction for who is going to win um, I don't think no I can't I can't decide I can't make a prediction for that and then finally we've got the main event Luke Rockhold and Michael Bisping 2 because they fought before incoming transmission and um, I'm going to say I, I am again very familiar with both these fighters. I do quite like them both as fighters, but Michael Bisping comes from Manchester in the UK, like I do. So I have to be behind him. I want him to win. I really want Bisping to win. And uh, I think it's for the belt, so it'd be good if he fucking could have that belt. Then he can be like. The first English UFC champion. That'll be good. But, as they say, only time will tell. I do think Luke Rockall probably will win. But, I hope he doesn't. I hope Michael Bisping wins. So yeah, we'll go back now to my predictions. My predictions say uh, the early prelims on UFC Fight Pass. Don't give a shit. And then we've got the two Jessicas fighting. I'm going to predict that Jessica Andrade wins. Just because she's from Brazil. But I want Jessica Penny to win. And then the next fight I care about. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say my prediction is Clay Guida to win. And I want him to win as well. Um and then Henderson and Lombard. I'm gonna say Henderson wins that. But I would like, no, 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 I'm going to say Lombard wins that, but I would like Henderson to win. And then, in this fight, Dominic Cruz and Uriah Faber, I'm going to say Dominic Cruz wins, but I actually want Uriah Faber to win. And finally, for the main event, I very slightly think Luke Rockhold will win, but... I obviously I want Michael Bisping to win and that's it that's my fucking UFC picks and predictions video I've been Daz Blitz and I'll see you soon <laughs>